this is the name we're going to do today. And like I said, we're going to work with these letters, show you how to come in there and use the um, the loop pile. With the loop pile, you have to cut with your scissors um, because it does not cut the yarn. Um, so it's, it's actually one yarn that, that feeds in there through the whole time. So you got to know how to, to guide this thing around. So if you're not comfortable with the cut pile, then I don't know about the loop pile, man. But I don't know. Some people start off with the loop pile and then they go to the cut pile. But I started off with the cut pile um, and then I bought a loop pile because they was like the cut pile will be a little bit easier. And I master both of them. So I know how to use both of them. Both, both of them. So... I'm going to show you how to use this loop pile just in case you want to grab your loop pile gun, okay? So, hey, let's get let's get these uh get this name drawn up and uh let's get the tufting. And that was it man so this is what i got right here as you can see i got the letters and then i went ahead and and uh put a border around it so it already can be ready um i gotta look back at my notes because usually the customer will send me some notes uh of what colors they want so i gotta look back at my notes i think it was uh red and black uh i think the letters was red and the outside was black but i need to make sure that's it before i grab my yarn and like I said, today, man, we are using the loop pile gun for the letters and then the cut pile for the background, man, or for the border of it. So we can see the difference. I'm going to show you the difference of it, man. So if you want to learn how to use this uh, loop pile, man, this is the time to learn it. So hopefully you enjoy this video, man, because we, we about to get it in. So, hey, let's get the tough thing. All right, let's talk a little about the loop pile gun. So with the... Um with the cut pile gun, you use two yarns, you know, because you want to make sure your stuff is kind of thick. If you if you use one yarn with your cut pile, oh man, you're going to be there all day. And then, uh, I mean, it's going to be a lot of tucking going on. So those, that probably can create holes when you do that because you, you, you're you using it a lot. I mean, that thing is going in, it's vibrating that and, you know, making it more loose. So with the, uh, with the loop pile, as you can see, this is the one that's the loop pile gun right here. That's the loop pile gun, the one that looked like it has a little sharp end like that. And uh, so what I do, I mean, it do come with like this little thing that you put in and pull out um, and pull your yarn through. But what I did, I just got a, um, a zip tie, or not a zip tie, but a uh, twisty tie that, you know, like come off the bread or that come off the, um, anything uh, that's wrapped up, just a little twisty tie. And then I just take some of the stuff off and then I just fold it. I don't know if you can see that, just so I can get that that hole. So you can put that yarn through and you can pull it that back through. So you got to put it through the front. You get that through the front. And as you can see, it went through. And then I will grab my, grab my yarn. Get this up a little bit so you can see. All right. So I grab my yarn and I put that through there. Ugh. Put my camera down a little bit so you can see. All right, I get that, and I um, well, I gotta break this almost just like I do the cut pile, just so I can be a little skinnier. You know, it's a little skinnier so I can go through. So I'm gonna get that through there, and once I get that through there, pull that through, and then all I do now is pull that through there all right now we're ready to go and i'll take that back off all right so now let's get to the tufting so i can show you how to use this thing all right let's get this going so i just throw my yarn on the floor i make sure it's loose coming out the middle gotta make sure that's coming out the middle real smooth once you get that like i said i just throw it on the floor 
and uh, just kind of leave it there so because the gun is going to basically pull the yarn through. So the the uh, loop pile basically it comes out as one. So all the zigzags that you threw you do. If you mess up, you can literally pull on that screen and pull every single whole letter out. Um, because like I said, it's one, it's only one thing. So let me grab some scissors too, because sometimes um, when I'm coming around, I might need to cut. So, um, and then we're gonna get this thing in. All right, I got my scissors handy. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this, this bigger letter so you can kind of see what's going on. So I'm gonna start going around here just like so. Oh, I need to move you to the side so you can see what's going on, y'all. All right. So this one here, you don't have to push in so hard because like I said, this thing, it doesn't, um, I don't even think you can create holes with a, a loop pile. All right, and we're gonna keep going up. And like I said, this one here, and then this one here, if you mess up on your on your line, if you kind of go off, all you gotta do is pull it out, like I said. And then you just pull this and, and, and tighten it back up. So loop pile is, is actually pretty cool, but it's just, it's gonna take longer. You know, the cut pile, you prr, 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 and you're all done. But loop pile, you know, that's why I like doing letters with loop pile. So if you struggle with letters and you have a loop pile gun, or you do not have one, you might wanna try to get one to you to do it with the letters all right people we're gonna keep this going but uh hopefully you can hear me better man because i just uh got me a mic for this thing uh, as you can see got me a little mic you know let me put my hair back i don't want to be rubbing on there but um i want to thank one of my followers uh, i think her name was kimberly um zyke foos or something like that man she commented um in one of the videos that i think i was at the uh at the shoe at the shoe um expo and she really couldn't hear me and i told her um dang i wish i had a mic and then um yeah now i got a mic man so hopefully i'm not talking too loud i'm gonna try to cut this thing down a little bit but let's get back to tufting man all right so um so now i'm gonna come up because sometimes i don't like uh i don't like coming back down like that because it's kind of awkward so I'm just gonna um well, let me back this thing up a little bit more so you can kind of see me doing my thing, you know. I want you to see me doing my thing. All right. So dang, I feel like you still can't see me doing my thing. Let me hey, we're just gonna move this camera around so y'all can see this. I wanna make sure y'all see everything now. I don't want y'all to be missing nothing. I want y'all to understand this. All right. So we're gonna come here. Like I said, I'm just coming around. So let's do this. So just like I said, if you mess up, guess what? You can pull that whole thing out. And that's just with the loop pile. And so I'm just going to pull that and start on over. So that's the um, the good thing about loop pile. Uh, and it didn't create these big old holes like the cut pile would do. So let's get back to going. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Because it wasn't no bigger to go ahead and do it again. So hopefully you can see or understand what I'm doing. And I'm just going all the way up. And like I said, you have to have those scissors. Oh, you can't even see it then. You have to have those scissors. Because like I said, if you pull it out, it's going to pull out all the strings out just to cut that off you know and that's only the downfall of having a loop pile but like i said these letters are come out, are going to come out so tight and fresh man that man look, watch what i tell you it's, it's going to give it like a, a a different look man you're going to have thick rug and then like a thinner rug but it's going to have like a different feel like they have two different feels so let's back this up so we can get the to, to uh to tufting and getting this thing going Move my chair back a little bit more. Move you over here. Yeah, and I think that'll be good. So we're gonna rock and roll. So when I come back down, I have to come back that way. Uh, but I'm kind of going out the line. So I'm gonna pull that back. And I'm just gonna come around, y'all. So I can see what I'm doing.
and now I can turn this. Uh, I think I kind of overlapped a little bit, which that's fine. And I'm going to come back and, you know, turn my gun. So like I said, you cannot, you know, it's not the cut powders. You could just pull your gun out and, and be going on your way. You have to use your scissors to cut it off. Uh oh, I went too far. So all I got to do is pull it back a little bit. And keep it going. I think I'm all in your way. All right, let's see if that is a little bit better. Let's see. And I can come this way. Now you gotta know how to control this thing, man. Come back up. And I noticed with uh, Loop Pal, you don't have to be so close, you know, for it to fill in. For some reason, it fills in pretty tight. Once I finish this letter, I'm going to turn it around so you can see, you know, how tight it is. But you just got to kind of like just keep going around in this thing. Trying to fill in all those little pieces, those little uh, spots. And then once I get that filled in, um, I'm just going to cut that now. So I can uh, come back toward the bottom and keep it going. All right, I hope this mic, man, was a good investment. I just don't want to be rubbing on it. Got my dang dreadlocks all rubbing on it. cut that because I don't want that to be so you know I don't want a lot in one spot one area you can kind of go back and forth like this you know to get certain spots you know If you make holes in your in your fabric with this loop pile, I don't know what to tell you. I don't think I could help you. This thing here don't supposed to put no holes in nothing. This thing here is uh, it's actually pretty sweet, but it just takes longer because I mean I I would have been way done with this rug, but um. The customer is going to, I know the customer is going to love it. They're probably going to, I just got finished doing another one for them. But they're probably going to try to figure out, like, why isn't my other one like this? Um, you know, with the two different feels to it, you know. It makes it, it makes the rug unique, you know. It's going to make a unique rug. So, let's see what we got over there on the other side. So, as you can see right here. I have these little gaps in here. So sometimes when you have the cut pile, you need to fill in those gaps, you know, and uh, you can't pluck this stuff because you're gonna pull the thread out. So let's turn this around. All right, so this is what that looks like, man. It is nice and, and hard and, and it's just like, I mean, I don't know, like I said, letters, these are great. The, the um, loop pile is great for letters. Um, I mean, I do need to fill that spot in right there, so. That's why I wanted to turn around and check it out. But man, this thing feel like a, uh, dang, maybe like when people knit or something. You know how you have that nice knit, uh, tight feel, feel to it? Because it, it makes it very tight. So um, so that's what the loop pile does. So let's rock and roll on these letters, man. And uh, we're going to keep this thing rolling so we can get done. 
Um, I'm going to make sure I did turn it inside out before I finish this thing. I mean backwards before I finish it up. I did. And I noticed, man, I don't really have to, because I don't have to push on it so hard. So I don't have to put a weight on my uh, on my frame. Usually I have to put a weight because I'm pushing in with my cut pile. So let's keep this thing going. And let's try to get this thing finished up for this customer and for you all. Got that done. I'm gonna put a little bit more down here at the bottom. Oh shoot, tangled up. Put a little bit more here. And a little bit more here. This thing is fast like the cut pile as well. So here have it. Yeah, this thing here is definitely you need some practice, man. If you can't control that that uh, that cut pile gun going in circles and things like that, I don't know. I don't know if this will work for you. I think till you kind of master that, or maybe I don't know. Maybe just get one so you can practice this one. I mean, cause like I said, you can take the yarn right on out if you if you kind of mess up. But I, I mean, I, I like it, but like I said, it just takes too long. But I think I'm going to start using it more for you all in the videos, you know. Just so you can see the difference between the two and then like different stuff you can do, you know, to make your rug more unique versus just one big fluffy rug. You know, you can start like a... You know, especially like if you're doing like a flower or something, you can kind of like uh, do different spots, maybe like the inside with this here, just so I can give a better, uh, like almost like a 3D look, you know. Some of it is low, some of it is high. You know, it's, it's different, different things you can do with it. Also, I want to just thank everybody who's watching you know, I, I really appreciate you all, man. All the comments, all the um, all the messages, you know, um, letting me know how I inspired you to get your tough thing going, man. I, I didn't think it would it would it would have got like that, but I'm I'm grateful that it did. So, like I said, I want to thank you all. This is what keeps me going. This is what keeps me um. This is what this is what keeps me trying to figure out other ways or other different ways to do rugs to um you know to to make your your rugs look unique you know um i'm not really trying to make any money off of this um but sometimes i do um uh, with commission but um i think i'm more here now for you all you know so you can make money i have my own business you know um i'm an entrepreneur i have my own business i make my own money and this is not you know what I make, you know, pay my bills with, you know, now that I have a following and I have you all um, on this journey, you know, I, I want to, you know, help your journey, you know, and actually help you make money, man. So let's get back to this, man. Stop rambling. Let me stop rambling. This is great for those who who are artists. And um, people do not appreciate your artwork and do not want to spend the money um, not knowing all the time that you put into your drawings or your paintings. And uh, they want you, they want to lowball you, you know, to try to help you out. But it's like, you know, this stuff is time consuming. But I think um, doing rugs, um, they really get something out of it, you know, because you can actually do their logo. Um, you know, you can actually figure out how to do a portrait of them or their family. So, you know, rugs can go a long way with, with art. So, hopefully this inspires you to uh, pick back up that pen, and, that pen, you know, that pencil and that paper to 
start drawing things and then turn it into rugs, you know. Like I said, this thing here, man, this thing, <laughs> you know, this thing, you'd be all over the place with this thing here. Let me move you over a little bit. I don't want my elbow all in your way. But yeah, this is fun. So all you got to do is go back and forth, man. It's just up and down, over. You know, you're just basically filling in spots. Because like I said, it's not a cut pile gun. So, you know, you have to cut when you're, when you're ready to take this gun out. Or you're going to pull all your thread out. All the work that you just done. That's the difference between the cut pile and the loop pile. Sometimes this thing here is fun. I've been using it in a long while. But I just wanted, I had this uh, customer that wanted me to do this. So I, I figured, um, why not make her rug unique, you know, and show you all how to do it at the same time. You know, you could actually do a whole rug with this, man. If you want to get that hard feel, you don't really want no fluffiness to it, you know, you can actually do the whole thing. Some people use this and only this, you know. Some people only use this. I like the cut pile because I can knock a rug out. I can knock a rug out. This is great for those who like to do like a, a Nike check or something that's you know that needs to have straighter lines. This this um, this uh, loop pile would be great for you. See, it wasn't bad, you know. It just take a little bit longer than I usually um, I usually do letters and rugs. Just takes a little longer. But. Right, let me show y'all this right here real quick. Let's turn this thing around. Look at that. Look at that. So it's going to be cool because when I come in with the, the thickness, it's going to open this stuff up and it's going to almost like in, almost embed this into the background of it. You know, it's going to embed it into that. So, yeah, as you can see, you know, see, it's a loop. That's why it's called a loop power. Just little loops. All it's doing is looping it and then keeping it going without cutting it. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet. All right. I'm going to try to come this way. And then come back down. Hey, please comment at the bottom if you use loop pile. If you use loop pile on your whole rug, or if you have, uh, or which one you like better? Do you like loop pile? Do you like, or do you like cut pile? Or do you even like a uh, little thing called punch needle? Or do you like just do the punch needle? Punch needle take too long. I will never be doing no punch needle. I'm not trying to sit there and do one rug for a couple of days. Using that or hours trying to use that punch needle, but I think this is this is basically how a punch needle come out. You know, it's like a loop pile. So this um, loop pile gun is like punch needle, but much faster. You know, so if you like that punch needle feel, this is what you want. You want your loop pile gun. This thing can go fast, but you gotta know how to control it. Oh, I can knock some rugs out, man. Yeah, I learned how to con control this gun. That's all you got to do is learn how to control it, and you straight. You are straight. There's some more yarn in there.
Right, just come up and down, up and down. And you can finish off a letter or design. I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna keep going around there. I don't know if you can even see. I'm trying to get this because this this is un a unique unique uh, gun. So I kind of want to. Hopefully you can see. You know. I don't think you can see the letters or not. Let's keep that thing back here. Done with that one. All right, let's get this one going. And I can't wait till y'all see the end of resort on res results on this one. Can't talk today. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, man? Let's go ahead and get a time lapse going, man, so we can finish this up. I think you kind of get the get the uh, the gist of what I'm doing, um, how I'm going around the curves of of the letters, and I'm kind of going back and forth. Um, if you know you need me to do some more videos on using the loop pile, make sure you just coming at the bottom. If this wasn't enough, you know, to kind of like show you what we're doing or how to use this thing, so. Hey, let's get this time lapse going. Got that all done. Look at that, y'all. Look how clean those letters are, man. Those, those letters are pretty clean, man. So with with these, you can not use the um the sheep shears on here, man. You have to use some scissors. So if you have some little stragglers like that, just use the scissors and cut those off. You do not want to mess this up with no sheep shears. You want to use regular scissors to clean that up so now it's time to get the uh, cut pile going gun going and now uh, we're about to get ready to do black around it so hey you're gonna see this thing come to life so what I'm gonna do man I'm, I'm gonna turn this thing um, around in, on the other side so you can see um, you know the letters kind of coming together once the black goes inside of it um, yeah no, I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll show you both sides, you know, so you can kind of, you know, get the feel of how I go around, how I tuft around these letters that, that I already used the um, the loop pile with. And then so you can see me go around with the cut pile. So we'll start over here and then we'll maybe uh, um, get on the other side and show you that right there. All right, here we go. I'm going to start on this side. So remember, you cannot pull these stragglies out, man. I have to get my scissors and cut that out, um, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So we are going to start here and go around this thing. So 
so like with this here I went off the line but it don't matter because like I said this is the the border but if I would have had the loop power I could have took that out and straightened it back up Alright, that's that right there. So let's get a little closer to the letter so you can kind of uh, see how I go around the letters um, or the um, the uh, loop pal stitches. Get that right there while I see it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get close, but I'm not gonna get super close. I don't know if you can you can see that. You know, I just left a tiny gap from it. You know, I didn't want to overlap it because you cannot pull those pieces of thread out. Um, that's a loop. So if some of that um, cut pile go in there, it's going to be kind of hard sometimes to pull that out. And you don't want to mess up your your loop pile, you know, before you put that glue on there. So, um, but the glue, the, the the loop pile is is pretty much in there. So I'm gonna stay a little bit away from it, you know, so we can um, we don't have to run into those problems. So. Almost got a little too close, y'all. Even with me, even with me doing this for, you know, a little bit, sometimes, you know, I get off of course, you know, with this thing trying to control it. Come around the letter. Like I said, I'm gonna get close, but I'm not gonna go on it. You know, I don't want to have to be cleaning up anything on it when I'm done. But sometimes you just gotta take your time. When I finish this letter, we're going to go on the other side and see what that looks like. I don't have my gun cut up with all the way up. Um, kind of probably got a light medium because sometimes when you uh, make it go a little slower, it basically keeps it tight, kind of like this right here, um, and it kind of makes the rub, you know, a little tighter and better. So sometimes you want to go slow and not too fast, you know. Kind of let the gun control control the speed going up versus you zipping it up, you know, with your mic. Well, I said I just want to do this letter real quick. So we can turn it around. So you can see what it looked like. I had to get that line, get that outline going so when I come up, I'll, I, I got somewhere to stop, you know.
All right, let's turn this thing around and see what it look like. All right, so that's the look I'm talking about. As you can see the debt on that, you know, see how this is high and that's low. So once I shave the um, the cut pile um, stuff down, the rug should look pretty sweet, man. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty sweet. It's gonna give, like I said, it's gonna give two feels to it. Um, let me show you again. You can see that that is way higher than that. See, if I turn it that way, you can't even hardly see the red. Yeah, that's in there, y'all. So that's that's pretty neat. I kind of like that. I probably need to come out with some more black. I don't know. Maybe make it a little bit thicker. But I'm, I'm going to see as I go, as I finish it up, to see if I want to add some more black and make it uh, a little bit thicker. But I think I think this is going to be... I think it's gonna be good man yeah because I'm not sure exactly kind of where she want to put that at but I think it'll be good I'm gonna actually send this to the customer after I get all the black in and then let her give me the judgment of do she want more black on it or not all right let's finish this up we're probably gonna do half of this and then we'll turn it around so you can see the other side So going around this level, you kind of have to tap this thing, man. You don't want to, you know, go in. I mean, unless you got the speed kind of down. Um, but I like to tap mine. I like to be able to control my gun better. So I won't have to be doing any fixing later. That's extra work on you that you don't want to have to do. So if you just kind of just take your time. Take a shortcut. Alright, I got a little time lapse going, man. I, kinda, I think you kind of get the, the idea of this. Like, sometimes I just feel like I'm boring you, you know. I'm not sure if this is more satisfying or um, the time lapse, me speeding it up and getting to uh, the next step. So, let's um, get the time lapse going to half of this and I'm going to turn it around and we'll get the other side going. So this is kind of what it looks like um, from the other side with the loop pile in the middle, the cut pile on the outside. Oh, I can't wait to shave this down so we can see this thing come to life, man. So I'm going to set the camera up on this side so you can kind of see the black getting filled in between these letters. And um, so you can see this thing come to life, man. I'm trying to see where I came. I kind of went over... I think it must was right here. I don't know. Kind of went over a little bit um, over that. So now I gotta, well, it didn't, it didn't mess it up that much. So um, we're gonna keep this thing going. So like right here, I cannot pull that out um, because I'll be pulling out <laughs> some of that letter. So let's get this camera set up over here and then let's uh, let you see these letters get filled in. All right, let's get this thing going. Let's get it going. So, I kind of like to look back at these videos too, so I can see, you know, how these things uh, are coming along because I can't see on that side. So, um, yeah. So, you know, I like to, I like to look back at my videos too. So, once again, I want to thank everybody who support the channel 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to it. Um, you can follow us on, I like to say us because this is actually um, my son's business. He is the CEO of the business, but um, I kind of took over with the actual tufting part. Um, he lost interest in actual tufting. So um, I enjoyed the tufting and I wanted to start this channel. So um, he still owned, you know, part of the company. And um, I just want to share, share the knowledge of, of, you know, of tufting, man. So hopefully I'll enjoy. Um, and um, you can follow us on our social medias at um, on Facebook at all caps tugs and then Instagram tugs underscore rugs. That right there, a little space to get in between. Hopefully, uh, I'll love to see how that came out on that side. So again, I'm using the cut pile. As you can see, I can go a little bit faster with the cut pile. Loop pile, you can't go... Um, that much fast. Don't forget to click that bell too, man. So you can get the notifications when I do more videos. I got some unique stuff that I'm trying to get together that I that I have in mind. Add some creativity to this thing. So you all can make some big money out there. You know. Using your creativity with my creativity. You know. Or my create creative uh, knowledge. Yeah, put those two together, man. You can make something magical. people that is it for that man i feel it came out pretty decent or uh, pretty nice man so um like i said um they only wanted a 24 inch rug i think this is a little bit bigger um as as the length as big as 24 um like i said i don't know if i need to add some more black or what but um let me turn it around yeah that's it there y'all that is it there y'all you can see the letters between that once I shade this black down, you know, I'm going to clean up in there. Um, I'm going to take you with me, man. We're we, we going to do this all together. We're going to get this done together, man. I don't know why that, um, whatever this letter is, look taller than that one. But I don't know, maybe the way the 
the image was on there. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to send this to the customer um, to see what they think. To see if they want to add some more black to it. But I think it's pretty sweet, man. Yeah, I don't know. I might need to add some more black, especially around this, that K right there. Yeah, to kind of fill that in. I think it's a big gap right there. Just to kind of like give some more of that black right there. But uh, I think that's what I'm doing. I'm going to put a little bit more black in here. And I'm uh, um, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to come in here and um, I'm going to shade that down a little bit. Just so they can kind of see the letters. So they can, you know, <laughs> so they can let me know, yeah, and they, if they want... Um, more black around it you know I want to make it look you know make it make sense to them that what it says so instead of all covered up and things like that so yep so that's what I'm about to get ready to do man and I'm gonna see you when we get ready to do all this shaving all right customer said it was all good so I got the glue on it so if you new to the channel hopefully you're not you should know what glue I use I get my glue from Home Depot and this is the glue that I just put on there um, the link is in the description where I get it from, where I, um, the link is in the description where I get the burlap, the burlap from, and the projector that I use for, um, projecting this image on as well. Um, the sheep shear should be on there as well too. Alright, so we got the glue all dried on there. Like I said, I usually, uh, wait till like almost two days, but, uh. I mean, it's not that sticky. I, I guess because it's like a smaller rub. Um, it's actually dry. It's actually dry. So we're going to cut this out. Let me grab my scissors. And then we are about to um, get it on the table and uh, get the backing going. All right. So with the uh, cutting around, I like to keep a nice little amount because I like to do the waterfall around it. And I have a lot of burlap uh that's at the bottom um because i usually put more prints down there but i'm doing a video and i have to get this to a customer uh, by today so with that i have smaller frames that i have that i can actually use those use that on so it's not going to be a waste to have this frame over here too it's just a 36 but i don't know if it's going to fit on that but um let's get this cut out so like i said cut about about that much around it leave some space but you can always cut off more if needed but you don't want to cut too less because you can't add <laughs> so i'd rather cut more and then do that so let me finish cutting this out and let's get this on the table all right got that thing cut off so now we're about to cut our little slits in here so as you can see i'm cutting up here because you know you can't fold that back you know you have to you know cut it in those angles you know so it can work so I like to cut little slits all the way around you know just to, to give me a better fold especially like when you have these corners you want to cut right off in those corners um, I have a video for doing backings um, if you want to go check that out so yeah so I'm gonna finish cutting these slits around here and then we're going to get this backing on. And the video I really want to show you is how to um, how to shave this down. I want to see how to shave this down to clean it up because I used that, that loop and that cut. So let me get the backing on and then we'll get to that. All right. So now it's time to shave. I got the backing on. Like I said, you can go and check out my video um, that I did backing. did a video on backing. So yeah, I'm going to shave this up. And um, as you can see, you know, we want to just get that down here pretty smooth. So all I'm doing is just skimming right over top. Let me bring it down some. I'm just skimming right on top. Let me go right there. I'm just skimming right on top. Now, like I said, you don't want to go down deep in there. You just want to skim on top.
All right, so that's what I'm doing now. Let me grab my little vacuum so you can uh, <clears throat> kind of see. <laughs> That's kind of what it looked like. Let me bring you back up some. So you can see. All right. So that's kind of what it looks like. So now what you can do, you can grab your scissors and you can kind of just, just come in here and uh, just clean it up like that. Just go right on in the side of it like that. And that'll kind of like clean that thing up like that, as you can see. And we'll do that all the way around, you know just to make it look nice, you know? So okay, you, you kind of want it like like a little slope like this, because you don't want this um, to overpower this because it's already higher anyway. So you want to try to make it as low as you can, you know, um, around that part. So you'll do that on both sides. Kind of just get your scissors in there and cut around there so you can give that nice little look like that so now you got the you got the uh the thick side or the higher side and, you, and then kind of look like this is uh and 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 breaded inside embroidered inside the uh inside the rub so it's almost like you know you just did embroidery inside this black rub um but as you can see we just did two different guns so that's what we'll do all the way around this these little this this inside of this letter on the outside of this letter and we'll just come around and kind of just give it like a nice little little haircut in the inside of it like so like i said so it won't hang over that part there if you want to shape in that up right like that you can too but that's how you do that, man. Um, you get that all done like that. So that's pretty much it of how to do that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, finish up this rug, um, get it shaved down. But it gets pretty, you know, pretty loud when I'm using the clippers and the, and the vacuum. So hopefully you get the... Uh, the you know, get how, you know, what I was talking about. How did I do that? Look at that. Hopefully you kind of get it. If you didn't, just leave me a comment at the bottom. And I'll try to do another design using it. Well, I'm going to use other designs. I mean, I'm going to do another rug with using these two different um, guns together anyway. You know, because I got some more unique designs that I want to do with the rugs to show you. So you can, you know, um get your uniqueness on and you know make some money getting these rugs done so yeah i think that's pretty neat so i'm gonna get that going and then uh we're gonna be right back so you can see the finishing um rug man so i'll be right back all right and there it goes people look at that you know like i said make sure you cut around there with those scissors um yeah, and get it all nice and cleaned up. So the black won't overlap or the color on the outside, the, um, not the color on the outside, but the, um, the cut pile um, part won't overlap the, or overpower the um, loop pile um, part. But look at that, man. Look at that. That is so neat. Look at that. You see how it dips in there? It goes down in there. Oh man, the customer's gonna love that, y'all. And that's it right there. That is it right there. If you want to see me do any more um, um, projects like this with using both guns, the loop pile and the cut pile, so now you can kind of see like what the two differences does. So um, yeah, that was a fun little project, man. So I'm gonna get this thing tagged up so I can get it to the customer today. And, um, and, that, and that's it, man. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and click that bell, man. Click that bell for all the notifications, man. Hey, comment at the bottom. Follow me on um, on social media, at, on, on Facebook 
at uh, all caps tugs t u g s or instagram at uh tugs underscore rugs that's t u g s underscore r u g s hey see y'all in the next rug peace